What's up, guys? This is a Johnny, and I'm back with the J M K. I'm so pumped with this, guys. And today we're on the balcony, and we're gonna go searching for some doggies. As you can tell, guys, I am super pumped for this. Um, I mentioned a long time ago near the beginning of my videos that I wanted to get a dog but I was just holding it off for a bit because I wanted to start on my own for a bit but I got tired of being an old lonely gecko in my home so I decided to go and get a friendly dog and um, also by the way in the last video we were building uh, the monkey walk which is ages ago I'm sorry guys um, I've adapted so um, a lot in the last video what I've done is I've adapted the world by uh, finishing off if you haven't watched the last video, uh, watch it. I've, um, basically, I built the monkey walk, which is finished. I haven't really had to do much to it, uh, except I had a few torches, because the zombies and stuff were starting to spawn there. It's a bit dangerous. Um, I've also got a little room there, which I think might be the kitchen. I'll, I might grow, try and grow a tree, change the sand a bit, make it a bit uh, grassy, and grow a tree there to make the dining room. And um, I've also made... Uh, if you see over there, the entrance hall, which I just completed about 10 minutes before the video. So that's brilliant. <laughs> Excuse me there. But what is this, guys? You might think, oh, it's just a pair of jungle wood doors. These are my first ever jungle wood doors ever made in Minecraft. These two. And these are my second ever jungle wood doors ever made in Minecraft. And these are my third. No, I'm not going to do that, guys. Um, but this is what I've done. I've, uh, what I did was I went, I went over to craft myself. Let's make a door. Let's make a door. Let's make a door. Oh, I can't make a door. Why can't I make a door? Oh, I forgot. And I made like tons of these jungle wood doors, and I've placed them on all of the doors and stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. But before we actually properly go into the video, I'm going to show you what I've um, managed to do, which is basically the same as that, but just to give you a brief look about. And also, I need to add some windows at some point, guys, because there's loads of uh, sand around and. I need to build up the pathway. I think I'm gonna have like it about the same height as uh, that room or something, and or the rooms, and uh, just build it along like that, and then have glass windows running alongside, like big bay windows. But this is really what I did on uh, both of them. Um, that doesn't. I think I'm gonna at some point get rid of the ladder leaning down from there, because now we have a fully functional. Um, we have a fully functional entrance hall which I think I'm going to put up some um, when I actually do the inner walls I'll put up some item frames and some lovely decoration to make it look nicer when people first arrive they're like doo -doo 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 -doo, let's enter the monkey fort and oh here we are so beautiful by the way guys that is what I've decided to call this house the monkey fort um, because I thought the monkey walk I want to name something monkey sir um, and I was watching uh, I think it's Mr. Milky Mouth in um, Mr. Milk Muffin, who's a friend of Checkered Leopard, who I have mentioned a few times because he's one, he's my favourite YouTuber. Even though I don't have many subscribers, you are awesome, mate. Um, but basically, uh, he mentioned forts and stuff. I was like, oh, that's a cool name. So I'm gonna name it the Monkey Fort, owned by Johnny Pop Rocket. So um, yeah, that's really it. And I've got five bones, and I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. Because if it isn't, I'm gonna probably have to go and kill some skeletons along the way but I need to get some supplies other than food and stuff because this journey um, it's usually a two day trek so I'm gonna grab my bed with me and I know that'll delete my spawn but it should be fine um, and I should be okay but let's get straight into this guys and um, you might be wondering why I'm not wearing my armor that's because I don't really like wearing the helmet and stuff and my armor while I'm starting a video because first of all look at look at me just look at me right now no helmet look an awesome nice spotty bald, bald head <laughs> bald, by the way now I just look uh, nah. I don't really look good in a helmet but I have I have to wear it to protect my my bald head uh, um, and stuff like that and chicken 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 move away from the chest you got five seconds step away from the chest five four three two you made a good choice there, chicken. Um, 
But yeah, if you notice, I've also got a tree farm here because it was getting tiring having to go back to the spruce biome, which we're going to be doing today. So let's go and get some wood when we go there. But I uh, got loads of saplings because I was bored of having to go over there to keep getting loads of wood. And look, another tree's grown right there. It's the chicken has decided to take over. Now I'll leave him. Um, but yeah, I want to get straight into this. I got, I've been waiting ages for this. I've been trying. So like, cause like, um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, guys. Um, and I like my videos to be perfect. I know they shouldn't be because if they're perfect, people don't like them. They don't. They like it when things go wrong. It's just my intros have to be perfection. So I was working on that intro for ages. Um, I hope it. I don't sound like too rehearsed. It's just a uh, problem with me is that um, I find it like even with uh, general work, like um, like general schoolwork and stuff. Like say, um, I basically let's say. Um, cause we're doing, we're in the summer holidays now, let's say, uh, I decided, oh, I want to just write, like, a little, uh, nice poem for my mum or something stupid like that, which I wouldn't do, cause, um, I'm not really a bit of a suck-up, but, um, let's say I decided to do that, and, uh, I'd probably spend hours working on it, and when I got a good one, I'd probably tear it up to make every word work, and eventually, it would sound really nice, but it's so annoying, the fact that it has to take so long with stuff, I really don't like it, so please uh, donate to stop stop Johnny Gecko today with his illness of not joking. Um, but as you can tell, I'm really, I'm really happy and stuff. I woke up on the right side of the bed today, just like, just to say, guys. I just um, I woke up on a, in a, in a good mood this morning, so that that was brilliant. Um, I actually got around the holish day at home on the Xbox because I I have no life. Um, um, but really, uh, basically, I think I might do back-to-back -back videos, so if you leave any comments and stuff, uh, just generally, I will probably will miss them. Um, but in my 10th video, uh, well, around, like, after my 7th, which I plan to go farming or something in it, um, it I'm going to be working on trying to get a nether portal. I don't know if I've mentioned this in the past, guys, but I, it doesn't matter... But I thought it would be, in my last series, I had it as a cool video morning ritual. It doesn't matter. I might have said in the past, oh, they need to get through the never port, it's the only way they can get to all. Not true. It's just, it's a cool video funny ritual, where basically everyone has to start off with a video, and all my helpers, they arrive through the nether portal, um, and basically they end up getting some stuff. Um, well, they come through the nether portal, it's really interesting, it's like, or mystical and stuff and I really like it so um, I think we'll have a room next to mine a uh, closer room than the uh, other one and if you look closely I think if you get to a certain point you can actually see the trees no no not here I think it's down in the river when you go back because I've done this trek so much times to get all the wood for my uh, tree house that uh, I remember a lot of it and I'm gonna dig down to make sure I don't waste a lot of the hearts uh, just go down a bit like this um, like this as well like this it's a very clever way if you want to get down a mountain guys to do this um it's much more simpler rather than just jumping off and killing yourself um so that's pretty good and it's getting dark it is night time now so i'm gonna hop into bed i'm not risking anything guys um i'm not risking any things because i chose this video oh, that's my phone there um if it does that in the video sorry guys it's just annoying but I can't really turn it off while I'm trying to do the controls at the same time, but, um, yeah, uh, I've done this, tried, I've actually gone across some I'm seeing things, I saw a dog sitting down right here, did you guys see that, I'm seeing things, maybe it was a bit of stone, okay, I don't know what that, it's the ghost dog, oh my god, guys, it's the ghost dog, <laughs> no, I'm just joking, um, but yeah, this video, I think I might call this video dog day or something, uh, well, well, maybe ghost dog. <laughs> no, I think I'll call it dog day because it's the day that I'm going to get my dog. And before you guys are all like, oh, I've got tons of names which you can name it and stuff. Sorry, but my first dog, I'm going to name myself because people usually do that anyway. But also generally because I have an uh, amazing name for him. You guys might recognize it just generally. But I'm not going to say any more because you guys, uh, you'll probably guess it and stuff. And I keep seeing things, guys. I saw a pumpkin. Up. I need to get my eyes tested, cause this isn't good. <laughs> um, I I'm seeing things. 
It's generally everywhere. Now, come on, I want to find a dog, hopefully, by the end of this video. Um, because, or maybe near the beginning, that would be brilliant. And, uh, we could, um, we can name him. Um, we can give him some bones. If he doesn't accept it, then we'll probably spend a bit of the video trying to kill some skeletons. So, I don't know. I'm going a bit far away from my area. Well, that's because I really want to find a dog. It's strange because when you need a certain animal, they're not there. Um, and you have to search absolutely everywhere to find one. And you never find one. When you don't need them... And you don't want them. There's tons of them, like zombies and stuff. We need a skeleton. There's not many of them. There's like look, there might spawn one, but generally there's just Minecraft tell knows, and it just basically it's just mean to you. Oh wow! It just killed my sword as well. That's really nice. This cow had to suffer then. I hope you like that Minecraft. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna make another sword, and then we can continue. Uh, can't be swordless. Um, it's good because um, my axes are really low because I have to chop a lot of wood to build my wooden house. Um, my pickaxe is kind of low too. And I've got another set back uh, near my house. I've got another set of uh, stone tools in case I run out. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Mate, usually these spawn in the, in the uh, snow biomes. It's where dogs usually are. And I, I actually saw a lot near the village. Maybe I should go there. And I saw some coal. I'm just going to get a cheeky bit of coal, like a cheeky Nando's there, guys. <laughs> I think I've offended so many people there. Um, but I'm going to, maybe I should go back to the village. Um, I might, I might, because I saw some dogs around the village. And also, I need to give it a new name, because I really hate the name of Dirt Shack. I've realised how horrible it sounds, how it doesn't sound nice. It just sounds really bad, just generally. So I... I'm going to rename it Sanctuary, because it was my sanctuary for the first couple videos, um, which was really just a Minecraft day. That's how different the videos. It was just like a couple of Minecraft days I spent there before I continued on my journey. Um, and I'm always going to visit there, guys, because uh, it's a nice place. It just generally is a nice village, and I want to meet my friend the Butcher. And um, also, by the way, guys, by the way, um, I want you to to stop like no i want you to please uh you don't have to do this but give names for my friends my the butcher and his farmer wife i was thinking of calling the butcher something like benjamin and calling benji for sure or wilbur because they're cool names or dominic or something like that something like a strange awesome name uh but you guys have the opportunity to give him a wacky or normal name and there we go this is what i was talking about guys when you come this is the this is a lovely view we get a lovely view there's the ha has the lovely house soon it'll be so much bigger there's so many more rooms it'll actually look like a house than just boxes with sticks attached to them which is really what it looks like now but uh, yeah please please try and name him especially um the butcher because he he deserves a name and maybe also think of one for the blacksmith, and there's an even better view. You can see the lovely checkered uh, pattern I was going for. But the but the the um, blacksmith, that's what he's called. He's just really strange. I generally, since I've met that butcher, I've got on really well with butchers and survival worlds. Generally, more than blacksmith, because uh, I know checkered leopard get um and moths get on with blacksmiths and stuff. I get on with butchers because they make nice food. And they have really big houses, and they're really friendly, and I'm going to need to break this. Um, and they're really nice and friendly and welcoming, and they allow you to come over to their house, spend a bit of your time, um, and they, they pamper you, really. That's what he did to me, for no reason whatsoever. Okay, I'm getting scared now, guys. Right, I'm just going to go. Whoa, that was almost me gone. Oh! Whoa! That was a bit high, I'd be dead. Scared. Just generally. Sorry. Oh my gosh. This video might go on a bit longer, guys, because I really want to try and find a dog. And I'm not going to end it until i found a dog, guys. That's how persistent I'm going to be. But I saw some dogs over around here in the past. Hi, hi, horsey. Um, so I want to get one. I should have gone for a cat, really, because... 
cats are easier got than um, dogs. Well, not easier. You have to go for a lot of trouble, but they're closer. And I mean, when you when you got a fish, you can just go and look around. There's one there, and you just have to tame it. With a dog, you have to search relentlessly because they go and like to hide away. Um, and I need to read those signs that I put down a while ago. Need to be changed. You're a lie. You are sign. Nope, this isn't dirt shack. Nah. Okay, right, I'm gonna get rid of you. Oh, I've got so much rubbish in my inventory. Um, where's my pickaxe? Why did I do that? I don't mean to do that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna rename it. Welcome to Sanctuary, I'm gonna pop because it was a little lovely sanctuary. The farmer, the, the wife, the butcher's wife, seemed really angry at me for some reason. I don't think she was too happy about visitors, but her husband was really um, nice. He didn't say anything. He smiled and let me come in. Um, gave me, um, let me put my bed there. And I actually, in return, let them keep the furnace, which was really noble of me. Let me just sit in there. I'm so nice, guys. I'm gonna visit him. I'm gonna visit him in a minute. Um, hello, butcher, mate. Oh, I've got a lovely big house which I'm building over there, and I bring you some type of oh, the farmer. Oh, she's going to say something. Hello. I wasn't speaking about you. I just like saying how nice you are. Oh my gosh. Um, I I'm joking. I really am joking. You guys are nice. Uh, let's see what you want to trade. Let's see what you want to trade. Uh, you want some coal i don't have enough coal yet mate but i will give you some coal and uh, also you want some bread um oh, i can make some bread oh i need some emeralds and you'll give me some bread okay i think she's been a bit i think she's ripping me off that one there but i'm, jo I'm joking but um it's nice to see you again and uh, i'm just passing by just changing some things about your sign and i'm hoping to try and get a pet as well do you do you see any dogs around here because it'd be really helpful to me and it'd be really nice and i'm changing your I'm, I'm renaming your town again because that was a horrible name I gave it in the past. So hopefully this one's going to be a lot better. And you won't have to deal with the name of Dirt Shank. Well, the other villagers laughing at you. You have a posh, beautiful name, which is... If I can write it down. Sanctuary. Yeah. Um, and then in the future, when it comes to my world, I'll have a safe passage in a little house where they can hide out in. Um, and they can arrive at Sanctuary and uh, they can go in the dirt shack and there'll be some stuff in here. Which I'm going to put some more stuff in here. Oh, more bones! Even better. Brilliant. Got more bones. But where are the dogs? They're hiding. Guys, you don't need to hide. I'm a beautiful owner if, once you get to know me. I'll give you a rose. Anyone want a rose? No, oh. Right, I'm just gonna look relentlessly until I find one. I will, I, I will, wait, I will, no. I'll try and find one before the end of the video, hopefully. I need to find one, it is, it is destiny. If this video continues, I might cut a bit out. I think, I don't know if I can. Dog, 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 dog. Never mind that, never mind that. Doggy, doggy, doggy. You look amazing. I, bearing man, I'm a nice owner. I'll be good to you and... <gasps> yes! I have got my dog. And guys, I'll name you now. Diego. Welcome to the world, Diego. Diego. You guys would have guessed. Diego is the name of my gecko. Come on, Diego. I'm going to show you to your beautiful home where you're going to live temporarily until I build you a proper big house, which I'm going to do, I think. Um, But... Would you like some pork chops, mate? Would you like some pork chops? Would you like some pork chops? Oh, you love me. That's beautiful. Um, I've called him Diego because if you don't know, guys, my leopard gecko is called Diego. Um, he's a really nice, happy guy. Um, well, not really happy. He ain't smile that much. He's right near the microphone at the moment. No, he ain't, he ain't come up out of his cage. He's hiding in his, in his cave at the moment. I'm, uh, I'm just looking at uh, his, his um, bedroom. Uh, like of his cage while I'm actually speaking but let's go the proper way let's go the proper way let's show him to the room and then we can go to sleep and end the video and that'll be really nice and happy in fact let's just let's just get some glamour shots right come here come, come here Diego Diego come on let's get some glamour shots what is that right 
I'm just gonna walk forwards a bit so I can be next to Diego. Yeah, climb shots. Ooh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Um, I think that might be the thumbnail for the video. I think. But yeah, oh, this pig. Just, just get out of my way. Get out of my way. Leave, leave, leave. This is my house now. Doggy, doggy, dong. Doggy's gone for him. Oh, good boy. You killed him. You didn't kill him. I'll just knock him off. Good boy for trying. I think he's still got his baby teeth, so he's not got sharp teeth at the moment. Cause he, he looks pretty young. He don't look that old. Um, no, he's gonna be my, probably my oldest dog. I don't want him to ever, ever die. So, cook. Diego, be careful. Come here. Come here. Teleport to me. I'm gonna hope he's okay. I'll just go like this. Go to bed like this. He should teleport to me in the morning. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end the video now and put it the bed properly back down. I was always going on about making the bed. So. Um, but uh, yeah, my lovely dog Diego. Has he fallen? Where's Diego? I don't know where he's got. Is he? Oh, pff, you sit down here. Right, I'm gonna. Uh, this might be the thumbnail. Actually, this is better. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have making it. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, uh, well, you don't have to. It's really your choice, as I say every video. Uh, just watch the videos if you generally don't want to subscribe or anything. It's perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to be doing some farming. Thanks for watching, guys, and may the carrots be with you. Gecko King out.